That was the best weekend of my entire life. Hello! I just got back from G-Fest 25, and this, you know, people say it every year, but this was the best G-Fest yet, in my opinion. I met so many great people. I actually met a lot more fans than I was expecting for a channel of my size, which was absolutely insane. All my friends were there, you know, we were hanging out, having a good time. I met more friends, made friends, the blood party was amazing. Everything was just incredible. And we just pulled in maybe a few minutes ago, give or take. Got everything unpacked, and it's tradition. We're making a G-Fest haul. Um, I'm going to start with the smaller stuff first because that that's how we do it around here, boys. I have the lovely Rayanne here to help. Uh, would you hand me some art, please? Thank you. The first two things... You know, the, these were my first purchases, I believe. I bought these in the Artist's Alley. Um, this was done by... What's his face? I can't think of his name off the top of my head because it's decently long. But I met him several times throughout the weekend. His Instagram is Kaiju Sketches. Or Kaiju underscore Sketches, I think. I sold him my 30 centimeter Burning Godzilla and... He does some pretty amazing art. I absolutely love what he does, and I just had to give the guy my money. It's great. The next piece of art that I purchased, I also can't remember the name of, but she does these little chibis, and I was flipping through her book, and, you know, she had a Ymir, which is one of my favorite Ray Harryhausen monsters, and when I saw it, I, I had to buy it. And they, they just look so quality. Something about the simplicity makes it look amazing. I know your name's right there, but like, I, I, was it, was it, Lin, Lisa? Lin. The next thing I received was from my good friend Chris, uh, good old Christopher Condi. He we had a table at the Artist Alley this year. And he started giving us his misprints or prints that he didn't like. And I got this Gojira 54 print, which looks absolutely insane yes dude this dude's amazing at what he does um i guess he didn't like this one because it's got like a shadow or something on it but i still think it looks good i'm gonna frame it and hang it so thank you very much chris the next items i got were a button from chris a shin godzilla button and i purchased a gfest 1998 pin from jordan except i can't find them i think they're in my suitcase if i find them in time i'll add them in this video but thank you to you two again for sending me those they are Really, really cool. I think we should move on to the goody goodies. I'm not going in chronological order. These are completely mixed up. So, um, I think this is one of my, f like, fifth or sixth buys. This is the EX Gamora tagged. All my Bandai figures this year are tagged. I'm, I've stopped buying untagged items unless they're just ridiculously cheap. But, yeah, I got the tag with the trading card, battle card, whatever you want to call it. I did not have any ex in my collection, and I really like the design, and uh, Gomorrah is one of my favorite Ultra Kaiju. Picked him up for $20. Had to cop. This I purchased from one of my bestest friends in the entire world, Rodney, also known as Guido Goji, but he's highly inactive, and <laughs> he and he's got some fat cheeks, bro. <laughs> but... But no, he sold me this for ten dollars. This is like the lights and sound Godzilla from Trendmasters. I wanted this mainly to go next to the Space Godzilla that I have, which is also ten inches. He needed a partner, and Rodney came through with the clutch. Thank you, bro. Love you. Bye -bye. Ooh, oh, 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 oh! Look at this. I bought this from a newer friend of mine, an older collector, Michael over at Vampire Robots, one of the coolest dudes I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. Um, he sold me this Forever Series Fire Rodan, or Rodan, whichever you want to call it. I think Fire Rodan, Rodan. This is my first Forever Series figure, and I love it. It's pretty cool, 8-inch um, scale, large wings, great paint job. And I will hopefully complete the set within the year. So that's neat. I got this guy for $100 even. And it was worth every penny. It was though. I love Look at this dude again. Get this dude next day. Aha! 
This I actually purchased before G Fest. That's right. Uh, when I went to Lewis's house with Javante, aka Lewis Duran, and Goji Franklin, we were in Wisconsin tearing it up, cursing at the state because it has horrible construction and the roads were absolutely horrendous. We went to this, his local comic shop and they had a Marmot Godzilla 1989. I had to make the cop. I got this guy for $60 and I'm very, very glad I did it because at G Fest they had the same variant along with the blue variant for $150. So I made out like a bandit. This is the 8 inch Bandai Godzilla 1992. This year, I purchased not only a lot of Bandai figures in general, but a lot of 8-inch Bandai figures that I did not own. I got this at Radioactive Toys for $40 tagged, and I think that is a great deal. Um, I have a sudden new appreciation for a lot of these 8-inch figures, and I'm glad I'm starting to just get them out of the way and finally get them in the collection. I'm doing these as a set. M1 was back at it again with the... Um, Freshness, bringing some great, great M1 sculpts and a lot of Bandai figures. And they were selling the HMV exclusive Grey and Gears and Godzilla as a set for $30. I don't care how much you either hate this set or how boring it looks or if Final Wars is the worst movie you've ever seen in your life. For $30 for the pair, it's it was an, it was an abysmally insane deal, so I, ha I had to get it. Ah, yes, 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 yes! This I did not expect to find, but lo and behold, I did. This is the X Plus 30 centimeter series Varan or Varan, however you want to pronounce it. Um, there was actually two of these guys in the dealer's room. Genesis 54 over there with my good, um, good friend Ken, and I can't remember his name, but he was an awesome dude. I'll find it. But they were selling him for 350, and I almost pulled the trigger, but it was a little, it was a little much. I have wanted this figure for a really, really long time, and when I was walking in the dealer's room on day one, I turn over, and I can't remember their booth name, but they had a 30 centimeter Varen, and they were selling him for 250 and you know, it's, you know, it's one of those really, really rare figures, it got an early diamond reissue, and Varen's just one of those kaiju that doesn't get enough appreciation in my opinion, so I had to purchase it. Thanks, guy for whoever booth that was for selling it to. Aha. This I purchased the day three. I bought this at uh, Radioactive Toys. This is the theater exclusive Bandai Shin Godzilla. I have wanted this figure for, yeah, well, ever since it came out. And I cannot wait to display it next to the glittery blue anime Godzilla that Bandai also released earlier this year. Or was it last year? They released it last year. I got this guy for $65 and money well spent. Look at this cute little booger. I purchased this from the M1 table. I bought actually a decent amount of stuff from them. This is, I believe it is an M1 mini, mini Godzilla. Cute little Godzilla sitting on the ground. Um, I'm not sure what it was for or why they did it, but there was a couple different variants. I think it was a brown one. And they were selling him for $10, so I kind of had to pick him up. It was on my last day, and I had like 10 bucks left, so that pretty much worked out. Then I purchased the 8-inch Burning Godzilla. This is a figure that I bought Ray in last year for her birthday at G-Fest. And ever since then, I wanted one. But since I'm a tag nut now, I had to get mine with tag. Also bought this at Radioactive Toys for $40, which, compared to other prices in the dealer's room, is very 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 good thank you <sighs> this figure used to be so rare and so hard to get and then the gods at diamond decided to reissue him this is the landing stage hedora the 25 centimeter to a large monster series version um this figure i was actually originally going to buy from michael because i thought you know that price that he had it at was good it was a fair price but I was walking around and there was a booth that were selling these for $115. And I, I mean, that's a pretty big savings, so I kind of had to pull the trigger. I This guy was opened, so that's why his ties aren't in there. I tried to box him up for the car ride here. And yeah, um, 
115 bucks, money well spent. Next on the 8-inch Bandai figure train is the 8-inch Mogera. I got this from Mike Johnson. Um, he always has some great deals. So, walked over to his table on day three and, you know, just started buying stuff left and right. Tagged, and this was also $40. This is very special to me. This was a birthday present from my lovely girlfriend, whom I love so much. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the M1 Godzilla trike, as a lot of people call it. And they call it that because, well, it's Godzilla riding on a trike. Um, this was $60, I believe, and it was a birthday present. And I'm very, 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 very happy to have it in my collection. I think it's just the cutest little thing. Another figure I purchased from Michael. This is the AMV exclusive Clear Gamera, or it used to be clear. It's a little yellowed and a little discolored, but not that much. It's more noticeable up close. I got this guy for $40, and I've wanted it for a while, and I thought that was a really, really good price, so, you know, had to cop. Mm, this is something I wanted ever since it was released. I bought this from Mike Johnson for $340. This is the X Plus Frankenstein Rick set that comes with the extra arms, the little guy, the base, and the crawling Baragon, which is one of my most sought after figures ever released. So I'm extremely, extremely happy to have this. Um, I believe I recorded an unboxing of it in the hotel that I'll upload, and then my friend Jacob asked for a review, and ask and you shall receive. This guy will be reviewed very, very soon. Another 8-inch figure I purchased from Mike Johnson for $40. This is the Super Gauss, or Gaios, whatever you want to say. I don't care. Um, I was doing a lot of Bandai makeup this year, so I'm really happy I got this. Um, love the sculpt. I love the Heisei Gamera films. So, yeah, pretty cool. And to go along with it, my friends convinced me to purchase the Gamera to go alongside him. This is the 8-inch Bandai Gamera from the film Gamera the Invincible. Um, love it. I paid $40 for this as well, and money well spent. They look fantastic next to each other. If I could even fit him in here. Sorry if this video seems rushed. Let's just say I bought a, a shit ton of items. This was my first purchase from the M1 table, and one of my favorite purchases from the con. This is the M1... I don't want to say museum exclusive, because I can't remember exactly what this Japanese says, but... My 74 I bought them from the last year had the same bag, and it's a museum exclusive, so I'm just guessing. This is the Godzilla 1989 from M1. This is also amazing. I love it. I love the sculpt, and that's 289s in the collection. Godzilla vs. Biollante is one of my favorite Heisei films. Love it. There was also a red and black one, but come on, man. Bright colors. They stand out. This I got from another one of my bestest friends in the entire world, Godzilla. He sold me his SH Monster Arts 2000 Millennium Godzilla. I have the repaint and I wanted the original and he had it and he didn't want it anymore. I basically paid him $75 because I also got a YMSF Tablet Hedorah with it. But in a sense it was more of a trade because I bought him the blue anime Godzilla that I own. And I really think it kickstarted his drive for the theater exclusives and exclusive Bandai figures, which I love because I go crazy for exclusives. Yeah, one at a time, one at a time, Albert. Another best friend. Actually, I'm going to stop saying best friends because these guys are my family. They're my brothers. I love them to death. I would take a bullet for these guys any day. Goji Franklin, Javante, brother, I love you so much, man. He got me both of the... Shin forms from Bandai. These I really, really needed, and he came through, and I just, I love you, man. Thank you so much. These are going to look so good in the collection next to each other, and it really fills the gap because I never bought them. Thank you. Mm, thank you. This I purchased from Tempting Toys. I think this is only my Tempting Toy, my only Tempting Toys purchase. This is the Bandai EX Bogle from Ultraman Mebusu. Uh, mine's got a little foot problem, so he falls over. But nothing a little hairdryer can't fix. Mint condition, purchased for $15. I mean, 
can't go wrong. It's Bandai figure tagged, 15 bucks. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, I also forgot to mention, Javante bought these both for $20 a piece. Uh, ooh, 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 I wouldn't throw that. Slide. Yeah, like that. <laughs> this is something, speaking of Goji Franklin, that we had planned for a couple months in advance. We might have decided this a year ago, actually. But we both ended up getting one, and I gotta say, I'm really, really happy with this. This is the Gamera... 40th Memorial Box set? 50th? The Gamera Memorial Box set. It's one of them. I don't know. This comes with seven Gamera Kaiju, all from the Showa era. Um, I got this mint in box. The box itself isn't mint. I noticed there's a dent. I don't know if we did that or if I bought it like that. I paid $120 for this, and I think I'm going to make a little corner shelf dedicated to just this Memorial Box. It'll look really neat. I can't wait. Next on the 8-inch scale train is the Bandai Mechagodzilla 93 8-inch figure. This was selling at M1 Toys, tagged for 20 bucks. That's a great deal, because I think um, Goji Franklin bought his for like $17 untagged. So, you know, whatever. It's great. It's great. I love it. Mechagodzilla is one of my favorite robots of all time, so really, really happy to receive him. Ah! Uh, is the other one over there? You know where he is? We'll get to that road when we get to it. My, um, another brother of mine, uh, King Goji Fan 2002, also known as, uh, by his real name, Jante, he sold me two little Ultraman chibis, a dollar a piece. There's a Bemular somewhere over there, and then this is the imitation Ultraman. This guy's just the cutest little thing. I love it. I love it. Thank you. They were a dollar a piece, and they're gonna go on my chibi shelf. This, I traded Louis Duran when I went to his house in Wisconsin, pulled up, shot some shit, and eventually I traded him my theater-exclusive GMK Ghidorah for a mint, double-tagged Godzilla Jr. I did not have this figure in my collection, and I already had the regular GMK Ghidorah, so it pretty much worked out even because he loves that figure. Thank you, brother. Thank you. This was another purchase from Michael over at Vampire Robots. I bought quite a bit from everyone. Um, there's a reason I have a bag on this, by the way. With these Bandai Mogera figures, I've always been very, very picky, because they always get beat up, and this has to be the most mint Mogera I've ever seen in my entire life, except for the legs, which can be fixed with a hairdryer. This was sold to me for $40 by Michael. It doesn't have a scratch. It doesn't have a scuff. The drill and the arms are mint condition. The tag is is like A1 mint. It came with a card protector on it. And um, then I was told this came from Rich Iso's personal collection when he was selling a lot of his duplicate bandais and stuff like that. So thank you to you both for making this happen for me. I'm going to take great care of him. All right. This I bought from Radioactive Toys for $40. Um, Goji Franklin really, really, really wanted me to pick this figure up because I did not have a Bandai Space Godzilla. So I went big. Got the 8-inch Space Godzilla tagged, 40 bucks. Spikes do not have a scuff on them. And the rest of it's alright, but it's not too beat up. Thank you for Mr. James Bond to, for selling me this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This I purchased from Radioactive Toys for $60, I believe. This is the 6-inch Orga tagged. Love it. Godzilla 2000 is one of my favorite films. And mainly because I grew up with it. But... I've got the battle set with the 8-inch organ, and ever since I bought that, I wanted the 6-inch. And that's exactly what I went and did. Thank you, Mr. Bond, for selling me that. We can fit one more Bandai figure up here. One more Bandai? Thank you. This I purchased from Mike Johnson. This is the... Ooh, sorry, the spines just... They glow. They literally glow. It looks so great. This is the Universal Exclusive Shin Godzilla figure. He sold this to me for $40, and it fills my shin void. I now have every form, except that this isn't the normal version, but I'll get around to that on, like, Amazon or something. Thank you, Mike! This is great. Great. Love it. This one? Yes. Eh. Don't. After my boy, Goji Greek, aka Chris, one of my new brothers, he went and bought a metric fuck ton of Parababies from Richard Cox. Uh, I think he was in conjunction with Mike Johnson, so kind of they are sharing the same booths, I think. Um, it kind of inspired me. This is the 
or a variant of the Parababy Marmot Gigan. And I've got to say, it's amazing. I bought this from Sean over at Showcase Die Kaiju. If you've never heard of them, please go to their website. They've got some great, great deals. I paid $80 for this, and the header card is somewhere over there. Um, flip it. No, that's the other one. Oh, eh. It, the header card's somewhere over there. We're going to take a short little break. I'm going to clear this table off, and then we will move on to the rest of the items I bought. We have cleared the table for some more goody goodies. Toss it over. This is another figure that I... Did I trade? Or did I buy this? No, I traded. I traded Lewis Dream and my Godzilla 98 bank, I believe. This is the Marmot Godzilla 1964. And he's a goofy looking guy. I love it. Um, he retails at that comic shop for like 60 bucks. So let's just throw a 60 buck price tag on that. Thank you, Lewis. Whee. This is one of my favorite purchases. After attending the Fresh Vinyl Life panel for like the third or fourth year in a row, whatever. Um, they had a section based on vintage items, and they showed a Popey Godzilla line with this Ghidorah. And when I saw it, I said, I'm buying that, I'm gonna go to Yahoo Japan, I want that sculpt, I want the set, I'm starting to dig into vintage stuff. And I was walking around the dealer's room, and Radioactive Toys had this. No, it is not the original Popey Ghidorah. As much as I want it to be, it's not. This is the Slash reproduction. But, either way, it still looks fantastic, and I absolutely love it. I paid $40 for it, and... He's going to get his own special little spot somewhere. This is the Gigabrain Godzilla 1964. A greenish yellow variant. Um, he was originally $100, but as I like set him back down, the dude's like, I'll give it to you for $80. Okay. So I purchased this for $80. And I love it. I wanted the matte black and red version, but they were all more expensive and no one was down to trade with cash on top. So whatever. Still happy I got a Mosagoji. Looks great. Now this is where things get interesting. I can actually unbag these because the header card is off. I just threw them in their bag for safe travels. Chris, when he was purchasing um, his pair of babies, he had a Manda. His came with either a building or something, I'm not sure, or nothing. But he had the same sculpted Manda. When I was walking around... About 20 seconds after I bought that Parababy Gigan, I noticed that Sean also had the Parababy. This is the 2004 Wonderfet exclusive Manda and Atragon combo set. I paid $140 for these guys, and they are mint condition. I love them. I've got pictures on my Instagram. The Atragon actually can fit in between this Manda, and that's how I'm displaying them. They look great together, and Atragon is one of my favorite non-Godzilla Toho film. films. Films. This was my only purchase from Monstrosities because everything I was going to buy ended up either getting taken from me or I just didn't go through with it. This is direct from the Godzilla store in Japan. It is a Shin Godzilla pen or pencil. I'm not sure what it was. It might be a pencil, I think. It was $5. And it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. No. My boy Kenton... Um, love that guy to death. He's um, one of the older collectors, but he's an absolutely amazing guy. He came through with the hookup on this one. I was walking out with my boy Rodney, and we look over, or I look over, and I'm like, Ken, Ken, come here, come here, Ken. How much you, how much are you doing for the uh, Mechagodzilla 93s? Just uh, curious. He said, for you, brother, a buck twenty-five. I have never gotten $125 out of my wallet faster. I knew I was leaving the convention with a MG93, and I love it. Love it to death. Thank you so much. This is the Bandai Kawakita Burning Godzilla figure. This figure is debatably one of the most rare, most sought-after Bandai figures at the moment because... At Kawakita's funeral, they were given to the guests, and they were never for sale, even the tag says not for sale, and they're an extremely, extremely, extremely limited run. I don't know the exact amount. I've heard numbers of 20, I've heard 100, I've heard 50, but they're very, very low. I think Clawmark had one for $800, Showcase has one for 500 This is a figure I really never thought I'd get my hands on until later in life. 
But, as um, it turns out, Kawakita's daughter actually came to the convention, and she, of course, got the extras, I'm assuming. And she was selling them for 120 Oh, no, I'm sorry. $150. Uh, me and my friends... Um, who was it? John t No, John didn't even grab one. Um, Andy, Godzilla got one. Um, great guy, Alex, got one. Chris got one. That's what I was thinking of. And Chris got one. So our group got four of these. And it is absolutely amazing. I'm actually, uh, my dad took me up. There's like a little glass case with a light in it. And that's where this is going. Um, I don't even think I'm going to turn the light on. I do have a car protector, but it slid off. This figure is also signed by Satsuma-san, which was obviously Godzilla himself. So I got Godzilla, who played in this Godzilla suit, to sign this figure. And then on the back, I got... Megumi Odaka to sign it which in my mind this thing is priceless now I've got two autographs on it on top of it being one of the most special figures ever made and then I consider these a set just because they look so good together but when I was also getting autographs with Megumi I purchased this I'm not sure how limited they were I know she had a couple but these were either done in gold or silver and this is her handprint she put paint on her hand and put it on the board. And then she autographed it for me um, to Joey, my friend. Cute little hearts. Love it. She said best wishes, the date, her signature. Obviously, Mickey Sagusa from the Heisei films. And then what I think really makes this thing special is that she has her family crest on here. This, in my mind, is one of my most important pieces in my collection because I've always looked up to her. And I'm a Showa guy, but I also kind of grew up with Heisei films. And I just think it's really, really special that I have this. And I'm going to the store tomorrow to purchase a nice frame for it. Thank you, Megumi-san. I love you to death. And you're the best actor who ever lived. What else do we have, sir? That's it. Is that it? Uh, that's it. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait. Is that the... Let me see this is the header card for the Manda. <laughs> header card. Um, do you know where my guy game header card is? I haven't seen it. It's somewhere over there. It was in a bag. Unless it's in one of those bags down there. <sighs> Alright, well, maybe we didn't need more than one table. We had, what well, is this, a table and a half? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. This is probably going to be a long haul, but this has been my best haul by far. I got all kinds of stuff. Wait. Wait, it just hit me. There's a tab below door over there. This thing I bought off of Godzilla for $5. This is the YMSF Tadpole Hedora. Could not forget about it. Um, I'm actually going to have... I met someone in the artist alley. I can't think of his name, but I've got him on Instagram. He custom paints figures, and I'm going to send this to him, and he's going to airbrush it for me. So, that's going to be sweet. Thank you, Andy, and thank you to whoever that guy is, who I will eventually pay. The Instagram is like... Something like that. Thank you. Thank you for watching this incredibly long video. But like I was saying, this is my favorite haul by far. My best haul. Um, these two things are absolutely priceless to me. I've got a bunch of important items. A bunch of items I've wanted for a long, long time. And overall, I had an absolute blast. I'm going to be uploading more videos about the convention. I vlogged a shit ton of it. So, I think right now what we're going to do is switch places and Rayanne is going to showcase her haul. Woo! Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I forgot to mention, these. this was $50 and the signatures were $30 a piece. And now I'm, now I'm handing her these, I might as well mention, because I for completely forgot about it. Kaizo, who designed a lot, a lot of kaiju. He was one of the special guests. I'll have a picture of it. I just wasn't thinking about it because he's in his box. But I got him to autograph the bottom of my Varan's foot because he designed the kaiju. So, or he either designed the kaiju or designed the suit. I know he did the suit. I don't think he designed the kaiju itself. But he made the suit. I got his autograph. It was pretty incredible. Okay. Now we're going to move on to Ray and Nicole Fields, also known as Ramen Noodlezilla, and we shall showcase her haul. Ramen Noodlezilla, here again. Joey's room. 
haul video. Let's go. First, we got our uh, our classic art from Christopher Condi. We got a uh, we got Gigan here. We got a little scree runt. Ski. <laughs> we got a little, we got a little ski runt. We got a little ski runt here. Sorry, but um, I love this. It's amazing, amazing art. He's a he's a great talented guy. Absolutely, love it, love it, love it, love it. Batra. All right, first thing we got the uh, Vinyl Wars Batra, and uh, I bought this at Radioactive for one twenty, and it was day three, one of my last purchases, and I just I love this guy. He's adorable. He's got some nice pretty colors on him. He's a he's a nice nice looking nice looking guy. What? <laughs> we got the Marmot Desu Goji, and it's uh we got some we got some black, some uh, yellows, and some nice peachy oranges here. We got some uh, bluish greenish on the spines here, with some yellow and a little bit of black. And um, I really love this. I got this at Radioactive as well. For didn't you get it for a hundred? Yes, a hundred. That's got this for a hundred. Love this guy, and um, he's a he's a keeper. He's a he's a he's a dude. Woo! All right. Next, we got the Bam Presto Godzilla 2000. He's a he's a big in, but he honestly looks amazing i love how big his tail is makes him look nice and nice and ferocious <laughs> i love the purple spines they're not too bright too purple they're a little bit uh a little bit blending in with the figure um i got this at showcase for it was originally 40 but we haggled and got it for 30. <laughs> All right, we got the we got a Bandai Shin Godzilla here, and uh, this is the same one that Joey got. The purple purple spines, and um, really love them. I actually got them first, uh, so I'm an inspiration to Joey. Uh, she got it first, and after I held it, I decided what the hell I had to buy one too. Amazing figure. If you don't have it, please go buy it. It's great. Go buy it right now. This second. Don't even finish the video. Just don't go buy just it. go go. Don't want to throw this guy. He is fragile. This is from Alex. It is a custom sculpt, Titanosaurus. It had a little um, stand, but uh, oh, here it is. We got we got a little stand for him here. He goes on this uh, little little guy. I love him. He's so cute, but yet he's so detailed. And I just I had to get one. Yeah, a lot of his sculpts are really, really incredible, and he's done things like the Hanna-Barbera Godzilla, and now I think Godzilla and I may or may not have convinced him to do a Marvel Godzilla, along with a bunch of other fans, so I think that's pretty cool. Alright, we got a theater exclusive, GMK, and um, honestly, I could not have left without this guy. He is amazing. My favorite movie is GMK, as long as my favorite design I love him and I thought I should get something different. I hadn't got a theater exclusive yet. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get him. Um I got him at showcase as well. Um let me see. Yes, he was thirty dollars. Nice, nice, nice guy. I love him. Oh yes, we got Pepto Bismol Pink Cabra. <laughs> And this one, Joey actually got me as a present. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Since I really wanted one of these, I couldn't find it. But, you know, um, I can't remember what, who it was. It might have been Jonte. Who? Not not who I got it from, but I, who? I think, oh, I think Jonte. But Jonte was, I was like, Jonte, I'm trying to find one of these Gabras. Can you help me? And I'm like, I was like, I can't find it. And he was like, oh yeah, they got one actually, um, I actually saw one, so uh, why don't you go get it? And I was like, alright, 
And I was like, hey, Joey, you want to you wanna get this for me? Yes. Next, we have got the Bullmark M1 74 Mecha Godzilla. And actually, this was the one I took on what you bought in the dealer's room from Rich Iso. And um, this is honestly one of my favorites. I love the color on him. I love, like, I love just how, like, design. I love everything about it. Great. It's an amazing figure. I love it. I'm proud of you. You, you, you did good. I said I love how it designed. I love how it's designed. I love how it designed. I love how it designed. <laughs> All right, next, we got our last purchases here. One of them is over there because he's uh, not put together, but we got a little, we, we copied Joey here. We got, <laughs> except this one is mini. We got these at the M1 table for 10 a piece. We got a little door. He's so cute. And then next we got a little, we got a little bear gone. Couldn't, couldn't have not got this little bear gone. And over there, we have got the Gorosaurus, but he does not have a tail in right now. I need to heat him up a little bit, put the tail in, because, um, yeah, that looked pretty weird without the tail. <coughs> All right, this is a Godzilla X Evangelion Bandai Kiryu, and it is based off of an Ava. And um, I got this one for Joey for his birthday or no for christmas Woo! and i i really loved it i opened it up to look if everything was all right and i was like dang maybe i should keep this and not give it to him for christmas <laughs> but no i gave it to him and then there i'm pretty sure there was only one of them there i didn't see any other ones i got this at showcase for 75 it's it's a nice looking figure i love it we got this neat little tag it looks amazing and i just I'm so glad I purchased this. Oh, I don't know. It's Mothra Larva. Is this Bandai? That is indeed a Bandai Mothra Larva. <laughs> don't put that in. I'm putting that in. Don't put that in! That's put in. No! Alright. We got a we got a Bandai Mothra Larva. I'm actually. I don't remember where I bought this. I, I'm i pretty sure it was Showcase. That, that definitely looks like a Showcase type figure. Yeah, this was a Showcase for 20 I believe. And um, I really uh, I really wanted uh, any type of Mothra. I wanted to get one, and I was like, you know what? Why not get a Mothra Larva? I don't have one yet. So why not, why not just, like, you know, indulge a little bit? <laughs> Woo! All right. So, we got a Sega Shin Godzilla. I have not unboxed this yet. I'm actually going to make a video about it. So, uh, either if you're on my channel, stay tuned. Or if you're on Joe's channel, head over to my channel for uh, an unboxing of this. I'm going to I'm gonna see what, what this guy's up to. And I, I just uh, I love him. Alright, we got a uh, Bandai Burning Godzilla here. And, um, this is the repaint, I believe. Yeah, it's the reissue slash repaint. This is the, uh, reissue slash repaint, as Joey says. And, um, I really love him. I really love how he's a little more glowy, sparkly. He's a, he's a nice looking dude. This year I had a, um, infatuation with, uh, Burning Godzilla for some reason. I really like him, really have appreciation for him. And I got him for 25 <laughs> Oh, all right, we got um, we got these things at Joey. <laughs> this is actually kind of a funny story because when I first saw these, I ran up with my boy Jonte, and I'm like, I'm finna cop thirty bucks for the set. Let's get it. And as soon as I go to put my money out, I didn't even notice Rand was standing right next to me, and she was like, Oh, I was gonna buy it. So I let her buy it, and then after I don't know ten minutes, they had another one. So. There you go. He, he's literally about to cop my figure that I was gonna get. He was about to pull a Louis Duran. Ah! <laughs> this dude was about to pull a Louis Duran. But um, I was like, you know what? This is honestly a cop. But I didn't know how much of a cop it was until Joey came over and he was like, dude, look at this. It's thirty dollars for both of us. <laughs> but uh, I love him, and um, 
I'm actually considering maybe sending this one in to the same guy that Joey's gonna get his painted by and I might I might get this painted I don't know if you think I should leave a comment saying if I should or not all right next we got a 92 we got this at radioactive he's a nice looking guy I was honestly I was looking at him from day two I didn't know if I should get him or not but on day three I said you know what I'm just gonna get him anyways nice looking dude same one Joey got except it didn't have the tag because I didn't see the one with the tag at the time but apparently it was there um love this dude love him Kobe Kobe all right listen don't get mad at me I traded this with my boy Goodzilla one of my best friends um I know a lot of people don't like this figure but I actually I love this figure. I like it. That's why I have one. Yeah, but my boy Jonte over here laughed at me when I said I wanted one. Dude, that dude's got caterpillar eyelids. Dude, that dude looks like young Michael Jackson. He's a dilapidated Dilophosaur, bro. <laughs> he sweats out milk. <laughs> <laughs> but I love this. I traded this with him for my camera and a few other things. But um, thank you, Andy, for trading this with me. It Honestly, it doesn't, you don't know how much I wanted this. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go on to the next. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. All right. Um, I'm going to put these in my lap and show uh, each and every one. First off, we got a, uh, we got a little mini 71 here that, uh, Joey just, uh, kindly bought me for five bucks. Um... He's adorable. Uh, actually, I was really sad. Radioactive had a nice looking 71. It had... I think she's talking about the Vinyl Wars Marmot reissue that's got kind of... It looks kind of like the 25 centimeter 71 Rick where he's holding the Hedra eggs. Right? Is that what you were looking for? Yes. Except they were like spray painted gold or something. Yes. I'm kind of upset that she didn't get it either because that's a great figure. I was really sad. It was literally like 10 minutes until the dealer's room closes on day two. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait till tomorrow. If it's here tomorrow, which I'm sure it will be, I'm going to get this guy. But apparently somebody came up and bought it in the last 10 minutes. And I'm honestly really sad about it. All right. I believe I was able to save the best for last, correct? I got, I got the minis still. That's my B. That's my B. All right. The next ones, um, some of these are from Andy for the trade, and some of these are from Louis Duran. And, uh, listen, Louis, I know I was supposed to give you a dollar and buy you a MIG chicken. That's my B. <laughs> Sorry about that, bud. Um, next G Fest. We got. We got this little dude. I'm gonna go through these kind of fast because there's a there's a lot of them. Um, we got an orange burning Godzilla. We got a Mothra. Oh 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 oh. We got this little dude. We got clear burning Godzilla. We got a Gigant. We got a red burning Godzilla. We got an Anguirus. A Mecha Godzilla. And last but not least, my favorite, a blue burning Godzilla. Ooh, look at him. Looks so vibrant. All right, and now we got the, the best, best for, for last. last. Ooh, 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 that was crazy. All right everyone the best purchase of g-fest my g-fest the rick burning godzilla x plus 25 centimeter i love this guy this is the first thing i bought radioactive 200 dollars um the dealer's room first opened we were like what 19 in line i ran to radioactive Got this, copped it. I was so excited for my first X Plus. I can't wait to do a review on this. I can't wait to film 
videos with this. This is my favorite guy. And also, it's even more special now because we got Megumi Odaka's autograph on the tail. Oh, I think it's, I think we're upside down here. Yep. Right there, right on the tail. We got Mickey right there. And then we got a, we got our signature. I love this. I love this so much. It's now my favorite figure in my collection and I can't wait to display it in most, in the most honorable way possible. All right, so that is my haul. I know it's not as large or probably as great as Joey's haul. Loser. Hey, I'm complimenting you. <laughs> But, um, I did buy a lot more than last year. I went with 1200 As to where last year I went with 400 So I did get a lot. I got a lot of quality. Um, and instead of quantity. Um, so I had a fun time. Second G-Fest. Even though it's the second, I had a fun time. It was honestly probably the best one. Thank you everyone for watching. That was both of our combined G-Fest hauls. It was absolutely insane this year. If you want more Super Kaiju content, more figure greatness, please, please subscribe. Um, yeah, it'll be amazing. We're going to have a crap ton of videos, vlogs, and just funny videos coming out very, very soon. Please go check out the videos on Rama Noodlezilla's channel. Um, it's about to be pretty dumb lit, and we love everyone we met. Thank you. Thank you. I actually want to give a shout out to two of the people I met. They knew who I was. They said I was funny. Um, I can't remember his Instagram name, but his name was Alex. Um, you were great. You were funny. And um, I honestly, you, you were a great kid. Um, and then Kaiju Sketches on Instagram. He knew who I was. He said that he loved us in videos and I just want to shout out you as well because I just it's the first time somebody really knows who I am you know it's <laughs>